Alright guys, bright and early on a Sunday morning here, and we are going to try mission number seven, split decision, uh, an elite, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep my cannons set up the way that they are. I've got a higher shield buster on my guns, but I like the scatter shot, and uh, I've kind of gotten over my, you know, this thing where I don't want to use the right trigger, use the, the special weapon. You need the resources. I mean, I'm starting to play on, on elite a little bit more and, and practice in some of these maps, and I have to say, it gets pretty tough. So uh, I'm starting to use the resource special weapon. So when you hold on the right trigger, you aim it at some aliens. <coughs> Excuse me, and you get uh, you get some bonus resources. So here is split decision. It's called that because there are two separate entry points, one here and one here. So they both kind of walk down this way. There's two core housings. So it's two totally separate paths, uh, and you can build towers in the middle to shoot at both paths. The only thing is, like, I'm going to start by building some cannons here on this block because they hit both housings, and they have a nice swath of damage on the way, and so they're the best guns in the map as far as I'm concerned. But if, if you have two waves coming in at the same time, you're, you know, your cannons are only going to shoot at one of them, and the other side is going to get neglected. So even though you do need to build some towers in the middle that can hit both, you also need to expand out and, you know, start building some towers on each side specifically made to uh, to fight that wave so we're going to start with the cannon stuff I'm going to build two here and we're going to stick some boost towers in behind and uh, put some more cannons up there and I'll show you the resource special weapon uh, probably not on the first wave actually I'm not sure you know let's, let's do it right away just aim it here and boom, we just got 200 resources. So you do that right at the beginning of the map, and we've got a five-minute cooldown. But uh, that lets us build these cannons a lot faster and just get a head start. Like in any tower defense game, setting up and surviving your first, well, you know, in, this is a 30-wave map, so probably the first, once we get through the first 10 waves, if we can do that, then we're going to have, uh, then we're going to have a good setup. So I'm also going to build a boost tower here for a gun, a boost tower here for a gun, and a boost tower here for a gun and then as soon as we get the resources we'll start building those this gun has a really nice range here, hits them all the way around and almost all the way into the housing and uh, we're going to build concussions later on <coughs> uh, the thing about the concussion towers is that they're very expensive and early on we just want to get these guns upgraded so let's put a gun here and uh, yeah getting the guns up to the, the yellow level is going to be probably our, one of our top priorities uh, I'm going a bit slow here. I should be building as soon as I get 100 resources for a gun. So we've got two guns over here. And so we're going to build a stack of guns down along here. And also two more on the outside here. And a cannon back here, plus the, there'll be a concussion here and here. I'll build some conc concussions over here. They're not great, but this one over here will still hit up on the housing and on the way in. This side doesn't have as many good concussion spots, but you got to do what you got to do. So let's put down a couple more guns since this is the side that's being uh, attacked right now. Let's put up this boost tower for a cannon. We also get missile towers in this mission. We're going to build them near the end though. The cannon cost me 200. So, oh, we got some uh, resources there. So let's put a gun. Let's put up this cannon. And then let's uh, focus on upgrading these guns. So let's get that one. Okay, so we're on to phase two. What wave are we on? Wave number four. We still got uh, three minutes before we can use the resource special weapon again. And then once we get the guns upgraded, then we'll uh, upgrade the cannons, put some overcharge on them, so we can upgrade this gun now. We can build another gun here. So we've got our guns placed. Now it's just a matter of upgrading them. And we will build, a you know, later on in the map, we're going to stick a meteor tower down here. And two missile towers up here. I'll show you that, but near that's that's near the end of the map because they're so expensive. So where's the next wave coming in? It's on this side, so we're gonna upgrade this gun. And I think yeah, we got this wave over here has been killed. So we got this upgraded. And we gotta upgrade these guys. I never noticed these spots out here before. Not sure why you would use them, but hey, they're there. <coughs> so let's uh, grade that. Let's speed up the time a little bit here. Uh, upgrade that. And then let's start moving over here. These guys got shields, but the cannons are taking them down. And walking around these guns 
Should get them pretty good. And the cannons will hit them when they get back up to the top. Make sure there's no waving on the other side here now. Not yet, anyway. And we've got this gun upgraded. And we've almost got enough resources to upgrade this one. But they're starting to get back out. And this guy, he's gotten out with some high shields. But he's going to die right there, which is good. So let's upgrade that gun. And they're not getting out. And we just got some resources, so let's upgrade this gun to red. And this gun to red, since these are our two best guns. We'll keep the other ones at yellow for now. We've got to get these cannons up to yellow. And we've got uh, seven seconds left for our resource special weapon. Shot three. So if we fire it at a lot of aliens, we get more resources. So there, we just got a nice influx there of resources. So let's upgrade this cannon. And... How are these, these, this wave is pretty tough here actually, with these rhinos, they're, they're so fast and, and there's not too many bends in the map. So hopefully these cannons can do it for us. So they're, they're on the way back out. How far will they get? I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be fine since this wave over on the left is dead. All the cannon fire is gonna be concentrated here. So yeah, we got them. And we got another blast, so let's uh, get these cannons all up to yellow. And then we'll focus on getting the guns to red. And then we'll build some concussion towers. Okay, what do we have here? Racers. I got tachyon bullets on my cannons, which slows them down, so that's good against the fast enemies. It lets, uh, lets them stay in the gun range longer. Perhaps I think actually it's time to build these level 1 concussion towers. So, we'll do that. <coughs> See, yeah, we got those racers. And concussion. Actually, I'm going to build the first one here since it hits them along this path, but also up at the top here. Now we've got a juggernaut, I think this is called. No, it's a crasher. Juggernauts come later. So he's a he's a big, slow, tough guy. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, let's get down another level one concussion here. And speed up the time, and let's get our other concussion here as soon as we get to 275. There we go. Now, guns to red. That is our next goal. The concussions kill all those weak guys and let the cannons obviously do more damage to the high power targets. So let's get this gun to red. And this gun to red. Okay, we got these regenerators coming in here. So we have to constantly deal damage to them. So the guns are obviously going to be our friend here as they walk up and around. Get another uh, red gun over here wave of stealth guys coming in here, lurkers, but we got guns over here and, and they're at close enough range that they can kill them. And uh, the regenerators aren't getting past. The lurkers aren't getting past. Actually, some of them are getting out, but they're getting out, you know, fairly dead. Okay, and what have we got coming in here now? More racers. So that's, that's not good. Racers are not good. 865. It's time to get this cannon up a level. And, uh... Get these guns to red. Okay, we got all those racers. Another batch. So, guns to red. All these guns are red. All the cannons are yellow. And all the inf er, I'm sorry, the concussions are green. I think now's the time we're going to build that meteor tower. Let's get that built. And let's get some more resources from our special weapon. There's 600. We can upgrade that meteor tower here. Now we've got to get all our concussions to the yellow level. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is overcharge these two cannons. And overcharge my two best guns. Just for some extra damage. Actually, I should overcharge this gun too. Okay. Concussions up. What's my best one? Probably this one here. Actually, no, down here is better. 550 for these, very expensive, but certainly worth it. <coughs> oh my, my throat is not feeling the best today. I actually had a cigar last night, which is not something that I normally do, but a buddy of mine was uh, over. He had some good news. So uh, we had a celebratory smoke last night. It's not, uh, it's not my thing. But uh, I don't mind a cigar every now and then. But <laughs> this tends to happen 
the day after. So let's upgrade this other concussion. This guy, he's he's tough. Is that the Juggernaut? No, it's just another Crasher. But he's going to take a lot of damage up here. And, oh shit, we got some stuff going on down here too. So this is where the cannons are, you know, losing the ability to fire at both. But hey, we just picked up a nice batch of resources. These guys are walking in here almost dead. So we can afford to upgrade both of these concussion towers now. So now it's about getting these cannons up to the red level. What wave are we on? 15? So we're doing pretty good. We're still not out of the woods, but we're doing alright. So now we got two level 2 concussion towers on each side. All of our guns are at red. The overcharge is where it needs to be. I'm going to overcharge this cannon too. Are they getting out? Yeah, but they're basically dead when they get out. And I've got still a minute left on my tower power. And... Well, yeah, cannons to red level. So there's a tough guy coming down in here. We need 800 for each cannon. So let's get these two in the back since they're our best ones. And who's coming next? Alright, the two back guys are overcharged red level cannons. They are insane. So let's, uh... Boom, we just what, picked up like 700 resources for one, one shot there. So that's going to help us out a lot. Yeah, for some reason I, I kind of didn't want to. I don't, I don't know why I just not use that, but it, it's just been it's been very difficult and it makes, uh, you know, it's in the game. So it's in the game, EA Sports style. I'm going to use it. Um, how are we doing? 700, okay. That's 1,000 uh, to get, yeah. Well, let's overcharge it since we have the 200. We have overcharge on all of our towers. I'm not going to upgrade these past the level that they're at because 1100 is a lot. So that's 4400 resources for me to upgrade all those. I will, however, upgrade this cannon to the red level and this to the red level and then build a couple of missile towers for the end game. All right, the cannons are slowing them down, beating up the shields, walking through the concussions, up around the guns, and dying all the way. Okay, 1000, let's upgrade this cannon. And a thousand, oh, I'm sorry, eight hundred for the cannon. And it's a thousand for this meteor tower. Oh, that's a big scary dude. The so meteor's being upgraded. Now all of our money's going to go into those missile towers. Is this something we have to be afraid of here? No, he's going to die there. Okay, let's slow down time. we got nine hundred. Let's put them on boost towers just because we can overcharge them. They cost three hundred each, six hundred to upgrade, and then twelve hundred to upgrade. So it's 2100 per missile and missile. <coughs> so yeah, they just fire big, uh, big rockets, and they have uh, nice range, like a like a meteor tower style of range. So let's uh, upgrade that one for 600. Oh, do I have to be scared here? It looks like this wave over here is uh, is getting out. Mm, they should die here. They should die here. Yeah, and it looks like my cannons can concentrate on the other side. I think I'm pretty good. Upgrade. Overcharge. What's going on over here? We've got two two toughies over here. Overcharge. This guy's gotten in here with a nice bit of life. The other guy died. And I think the cannon should polish this guy off pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh. Are these guys, these guys getting through. 1800. 2100. So let's upgrade this missile. Wow, guys are getting out though. On this side over here. Are they going to die missiles? Are the missiles. Are they stealth? They are stealth. Okay, so we got to go back. And back again. And slow the time down and figure out how we're going to do that. These guys are walking in with stealth. Okay. Let's upgrade this concussion tower. To the red level. Hopefully that'll take care of them. Probably should use a disruptor or something. Are these cannons, or these are both on yellow, right? Yeah. Whoa, up to almost 1200. So let's upgrade the missile on this side. Since it seems this side, the lower side down here, seems to be the tougher one. Are they still gonna get out? Are they still gonna get out? They are still going to get out. Alright, so we're going to have to back up to where we built those missile towers. And try something different. 
Let's back up. Okay, missile towers are not there. How's everything else? What, what else did we lose in terms of upgrades? Nothing major. So let's, uh, what can we put right here? What can we put right here? Put a boost tower. Let's build another cannon. But this one we're going to use uh, Disruptor. Actually, that's a bad place for a Disruptor. Um, can I change to a Disruptor? Do I have to sell the tower? Oh, shit. Alright, so let's uh, rebuild the gun. Nope. So I gotta sell both. That's the only way to get rid of the overcharge. Okay. Uh, let's boost it. Hopefully we can get this done in time. Gun. Gun. Disruptor. Gun. So he's on full level, but now he's got the disruptor. And that lets uh, long range. So in its range here, the long range targets can hit stealth, stealth aliens. So let's go back to building these. And let's see if we can leave this concussion at level yellow because now we've got the disruptor and let the meteor and the cannons hit those stealth aliens. And then let's try these missiles again. So we've got a couple of missile towers. Which we can upgrade. Stuff's almost getting out. Almost. And what do we got? We got this weapon online yet? Yes, we do. Okay. I wonder how we're making out. Probably should go have a look at the other side of the map over there. No, we're doing good. Okay, now hopefully, hopefully this is the wave that we uh, that we didn't get past last time. Hopefully these disruptors let the cannons do some work, and those missiles. Yeah, it worked. Let's overcharge this missile tower. Uh, overcharge this. So we have two fully upgraded overcharged missile towers, which is pretty sick. And now, are we in the final wave? We're on wave 29. So we got regenerators coming in. Cannons are slowing them down. Missiles are beating them. Meteor tower is going. So they're taking quite the hefty beating there. So yeah, it turns out we need a disruptor here. Like I say, when I practice these maps, I just try to get to halfway through it, we'll call it. And then uh, once I have a strategy that gets me halfway through it, then I kind of just turn it off and restart. And hope to get to the end. So the, the end game here was a little bit tricky. And we've got this thing here, which looks like it's... I think that's a rumbler? Yeah, that's a rumbler. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this before it gets out. Uh, I think we'll go to cannon. Yeah, the cannon should kill that. Rumblers are pretty fast. They hold three cores and they're tough to kill. And this is the Juggernaut, but he's pretty dead. He's the toughest guy in the whole game. And I think he's the last dude. He is indeed the last dude. Alright, so there it is. That's 07 split decision. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Pretty nice high score, well above the 450k that we needed for gold. We got 552, 901, and uh, time to go on to mission number eight and practice that. And hopefully, I'll have another uh, another video recorded by the end of the day and, and upload it tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you for some more Defense Grid next time.